Well, hello and welcome to Gymnasium Total Notary Channel. We're back for a little quick tech tutorial of how to update your Intel HD graphics controller. That is the built-in GPU all systems that don't have a dedicated graphics card have and also very many laptops that have a dedicated also have this. So what you need to do is to find device manager. You can find it by clicking Windows key and X and then you get a list here and then you see device manager. Uh, my system language is Swedish so it's called Enhesanteran but um, imagine what device manager could be called in your language. Click on this. You also find it on control panel. Now you click on uh, GPUs, that is uh, your graphics controllers. And I can see I have an Intel and I have a Nvidia. But today we want to update the Intel HD graphics. Double click on this, go to drivers and click update driver. You want to search automatically for a updated uh, driver. This means you need to be connected to the internet while doing this. Wait for it to search and if it tells you the latest drivers are already installed you don't need to bother. If this for any, re any reason doesn't work for you, um, that might mean you don't have internet and you have to download drivers from another computer, um, or that you did never install drivers so you don't have an Intel or HD. Instead it would said uh, Microsoft uh, generic graphics driver or something like that, or just VGA uh, graphics card or something like that, yeah? Then you'll need to find out what generation your processor is because then you have to do manual download which I will show you how to do. Uh, go down to your processors down here and you see the processor name it's an i5-7200. Now this first little number in the thousand after i5 indicates what generation it is. So in my case this is a 7th generation. If it would say um, say i5-3400 or something then it would mean it is a 3rd generation uh, processor. But in my case it's a 7th generation processor. So we want what you want to do like shown here you can see uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to download drivers from Microsoft. Um, I put a link to that in the description so you can get to the right site. Now select the generation you just find, found out which is the seventh generation for me. And here we get Intel graphics drivers for Windows 10. Uh, if you have an other operating system or anything like that, uh, you might want to set your operating system here. For example, I have a Windows 10 64-bit and I will download this. So yeah, uh, the easiest one here is just to download the EXE file which I highly recommend. Just click on that and download it. And this is a self-installing thing. It's EXE file. You double click it, allow it through the firewalls and let it install. That's all you need to do. Um, so I won't go, you, go through the EXE installation process um, because yeah I'm on uh, wired internet now. But anyways just download that, run it and 
you'll be good to go. You can also download it to a USB uh, driver uh, or USB drive or something or a CD or whatever and then transfer it to the computer you actually want to install it on if you don't have internet on the computer you want to install Intel graphics drivers on. So anyways, this is basically how to update your Intel drivers to the latest version, two simple ways. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. This is Jimidism Total Nerdy Channel, signing out. See you in next video. Thank <laughs> you.